church family. I want to thank you for your prayers and support during this time. I've been so encouraged to hear and see on social media how we as a church are continuing to pray fervently and give sacrificially amidst this epidemic. Know that we as a church staff and leadership are continuing to pray for you during this time. I've challenged us to do three things in this season, to pray fervently, to give sacrificially, and now we focus on the third part of that challenge, to love unconditionally. This week's video will talk about the ways we can love our church family in this time. Next week's video will talk about the efforts we are finalizing to show our unconditional love to our community at large. As Jesus said in John 13, 35, By this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. One of the many ways people will be able to see how amazing Jesus is is by how we love each other within our church. So we've identified a few ways we can practically do that as we live under this stay-at-home mandate for the next couple of weeks. So if you're able to help out any of the four following ways, please contact Pastor Brett via email. First, as the needs arise within our church, we will be setting up a meal train for anyone who is in need of meals for their family during this time. We need people who can make meals and possibly other people to deliver the meals. Second, there are people who are already losing their jobs. If you are able, we are helping people financially to pay their rent, mortgage, utilities, or other bills. If you help in this way, know that we are confidentially handling those unfortunate realities for those in our church at this time. Third, we have many shut-ins, nursing home residents, and widows within our church family that we want to make weekly contact and connection with them. What we need are for people to make phone calls or even send notes or cards of encouragement to them. And fourth, we are looking for teachers and those in education who are able to help some of our families with e-learning throughout these next few weeks. Once again, if you're able to help in any of these four ways, please contact Pastor Brett via email. Last thing I want to say is this. If you're struggling and you need help in any one of the four ways I just shared, or need help in any other way, or know of someone who needs help, please do not hesitate to let me or someone on our church staff or leadership know. This is not a time to hide the unfortunate, overwhelming reality that you're going through. This is a time for you to be overwhelmed by the unconditional love of God through the unconditional love of your church family. As we talked about last Sunday, even when you are surrounded and overwhelmed, know that you're surrounded by God and God's people, your church family. Let's be the church, as Luke writes about in Acts 4, 33 and 34, where it says this, And God's grace was so powerfully at work in them all that there were no needy persons among them. Please, church, let us know how we can help. We want to take care of everyone in our church family during this time. Thanks, church. I look forward to gathering online with you this Sunday at 10 a.m. We begin a new series called Last Words of Jesus. And as Jesus headed to the cross 2,000 years ago, he had some profound things to say that can have a profound impact on us as we endure this time together. Love you, church. Can't wait to worship with you this Sunday at 10 a.m.